All right, let's go ahead and check out the observatory over here and kind of show you some of the things that I did to um, just keep the uh, climate inside the observatory a little bit more stable. Now, we had a good seal um, in the back end over here um, and a good seal usually in the front over here. Um, but the way I had designed things, I had the actual side of the observatory air was able to flow in on both sides and we'll go over here on this end as well um, but you can see now that the only air it's probably allowed to flow in is right through these little channels there um, and so what I ended up doing is just buying some foam and just kind of uh, wedging it up in there so that it creates a little bit more of a climate barrier um, What I found was that my Dehumidifier that I had inside was just constantly running um, Being that we live in Florida here uh, We have lots of humidity Throughout the night and and even throughout the early morning and so as things got uh, nice and dry inside the air equalizes and then we get the um, dehumidifier kind of uh, running again so here's how things look inside um, I got my little uh, station here where I hook up my laptop um, I have a, a USB hub port there um, and all I have to do is just kind of plug this in and everything that I need to run runs it here Here's my light, uh, my light box for my flat frames. We have the dehumidifier over here that uh, is basically set to, to um, run at uh, whatever you know percentage you want it. I keep it at 70%, but as you can see there prior that the humidity inside is actually 40. So it's, it's real nice and dry here. Um, and after sealing that, uh, my little container really uh, doesn't get filled up. I check it every day and I empty it out probably just weekly just to make sure it never gets to the point where uh, it fills up. Um, we got a blow dryer of course. Sometimes you run into just dewy situations where your dew bands are not able to keep up and things actually do and, and fog up inside as far as our mirrors go. And so um, that's there just in case during the night I have to go ahead and defrost, not defrost, de, de, uh, you know, heat things up so the dew uh, gets eliminated off the scope. Our temperature settings here, you know, they, I just have a thermostat just to kind of keep in. I'm not sure which one is which. I mean, the outside should be this, so the probe is reading about 82 degrees inside here and we're in the middle of spring so I had installed a kind of an exhaust vent fan here uh, that's thermal 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 regulated here and you can see that I have it for about 85 so if it's getting hotter than 85 here this fan is gonna kick up and just uh, blow out so just for for test purposes here I'm gonna turn this dial over and you can see how it kicks all the air out here and what's really nice is that these uh, actual shutters they only stay open when the fan is blowing the, the hot air out um, once the hot air is blown out and things cool off Turn it back to about 85. Once things are off, you'll see that the exhaust fan uh, shuts down and everything stays nice and closed and there's no uh, actual you know, chance for anything to get in. Um, of course, we live in Florida, so we have some of this mosquito repellent kind of pellets that you just, I just kind of open up 
and it has a real nice fragrance there that's supposed to keep the mosquitoes and the vampires away so um that's that's that otherwise you know we keep our telescope and, and camera parked in the horizontal position so that when we actually close the rooftop there um you know we're able to stay clear of everything so all right so basic things we have are a dehumidifier just to keep things uh, nice and dry in here um, this comes in handy as well if you've been having the roof open throughout the whole night and things inside get a little bit moist and and dewy um, and you have to you know wake up in the morning to go to work I can just roll things shut and not worry about letting things dry because once that shuts off the humidity will build up and um, this will kick right on to get things dry um, just to control the heat you know I don't have any insulation in here um, and I'm waiting for the summertime to see how things you know how hot things get but hopefully things will be regulated with that exhaust fan there um, you know we got our our USB hub to control everything our mount our camera and uh, our light box whenever you know we need to take new flats if if be but uh, this is pretty much it so another thing that I will have to be dealing with and I hopefully hopefully these uh, little foam areas that uh, if you can see that that just kind of buzz by there you know I'm, I'm having to deal with uh, these wasps that are trying to figure out if the observatory is going to be their new home so hopefully this keeps things out you know I've had uh, instances where I've already had wasps inside the observatory which is uh, which was a fun surprise but uh, other than that this is uh, this is what it, it looks like there um, Again, my design was a little bit, uh, you know, smaller. Uh, my HOA actually doesn't permit anything higher than the fence, which kind of works out for me. Um, it's not as tall. I, you know, I have to kind of duck down to get in there, um, but it, it definitely saves on materials and uh, makes things a, a little bit uh, easier as far as construction goes because uh, I didn't have to climb on any ladders or do anything like that. But 